Steve Harvey and families in the ring with tag numbers 128 and 129. Uh, 128 is going to be the Hampshire Guilt. Watch this, no limits. Uh, the Barra here is going to be 129. He's a watch this, how you doing. Uh, the Hamp Barra is out of the champion Hampshire at the NJSS in 2023. Yeah, this Hampshire Guilt drops in, and she's a stouty for sure. That, that's got big appendages. Uh, sometimes when you start with this breed, appendages, it, when you don't start like this, can get you in trouble in terms of not ever having enough. That will never be a question on this guilt. She's a stout, scald one that's broad and dense, and, yet yeah, she's still loose enough on both ends of her skeleton. There's some really, really neat pieces in that Hampshire Guilt. This Hampshire male pig, I probably uh, know more about the backside of his pedigree than most. Uh, Mama came from us. She was champion there at Louisville. Uh, that this young lady had the opportunity to drive. Uh, Grandma would have been champion at Expo in 2020, the year of COVID. Uh, this Hampshire male pig is very stereotypical uh, for that what that lineage has. They're always whacked out on the front side of their body, and yeah, they got the bendy and comfortable rear leg. Uh, this pig. W I would almost guarantee he smooths up and balances as perfect as any. And when you tie that all into one that's tight-necked and bendy build, there's only one way to go, and that's to get reworked and reshuffled within a Hampshire drive. Yeah, you talk about this Hampshire bear is smoothing up, and honestly, I always tell guys, people get worried, and I'm sure his top line looks a little different in the Walton video, and that's okay. When was the last time you went to a hog show and you saw one with a spine like that at 260 pounds? Uh, they grow into it, and the reason they've got it is because that hog has real muscle as a baby, uh, and I love that because you take that thing home, get him off sale prep feed, put him on a 15, 16, whatever, let him grow, uh, and that hog's got big ring pieces because he's so big and broad behind. He's so aggressive in his shape, and he's got the pedigree behind to boot. And you talk about this Hampshire guilt. Uh, these big Hampshire gilts have been really challenging to find this year, and just in quality, I found some, but just finding good ones has been tough. Things moderate. She's husky. She's big bodied. Uh, and to me, she looks like one of those that's got the right kind of maturity to be able to uh, hit whatever major you need to and be able to run them long term. That's a good pair of Hampshires brought in by the Harvey crew. Yeah, and I would say, uh, I don't know where Brennan was but he told me he needed a hampshire lots of hampshires he better have this tag 129 on his list if he ever quits talking over there because he's one that could sneak up and bite anybody in the rear end 